Mylene Santos, you were the art director during the first season of Girls Five Eva, and then you became the production designer for season two. So how did you approach this season? Yeah, I, I production designed the first half. Um, so excited, so thrilled to even like to get to design, uh, you know, being the art director, uh, we did so many so many different sets, you know, so many music videos, so many, you know, anything you can that came into the writer's mind, you, you, you get to design. So I was all for anything and everything for the second season. Mm -hmm. I mean, we right off the bat uh, in the premiere, we started with a new set with property records. <laughs> yeah, oh, the, the like designing that. The property records in the um the, the bright colorful one. Yeah, their, like their, their office. Conference room. Yeah. So that was actually at our stage. That was next door to our art department. We oh. ended up using the conference, the, the empty space next to well, actually we took over the wardrobe area and converted that into the conference room. So I got to, you know, it was already divided up by that glass, but I got to put color in the glass and make it more vibrant and like more like an upstart, like fresh upstart company. So we got to, you know, just go around the corner and just be in the set and work right there and then be out of the office while they were shooting. So we couldn't work that day, but or in the office, but um, it looked great. Oh yeah, so that that must have been convenient though, especially during COVID. Just, oh yeah, they they we like to try and take advantage of spaces like that. That you know, um, especially during COVID, a lot of people don't like you to come into their space, and you know, or strangers come into their space. Um, so that was definitely a, a plus. Uh, um, I I do love the color scheme in that conference room for property records because. I, it, it's quite different from the usual look of the show, which is like brighter and like these, I, it, yeah, it's like you said, it, it feels definitely feels more like a startup kind of like Silicon Valley. Um, right. We were looking at um, available spaces for that. We were first looking at different locations and, and all these old, they were actually old businesses, startup businesses that closed during COVID. And so it was kind of sad, but they all had really bright, bold, colored rooms. So that's what I got inspired with and, and, and tried to bring that into uh, our, our art department space next door. <laughs> I mean, so uh, on the show, it's the Property Brothers record company, but there's in, in that space, there's not a lot of uh, detail or like, you, you know, even that they're, it's owned by them. So was that a deliberate choice? Yes, that was... Um, they had just moved in so they just found the space um they were we had a few moving boxes so as the, sh the show developed uh, I, I mean as the episodes went on we would add more and more spaces that were getting more and more lived in so they had because they were just you know uh beginning they just found that space in the they're expanding their brand <laughs> yes uh, well, the premiere also has this uh, like loft uh, warehouse where they're going to go re record a podcast and there's Ooh. a towering staircase for Gloria to climb right after knee replacement surgery. So can you talk about finding that space and <laughs> it, was that staircase real? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, we, we found that it, that was a very specific location to look for. We wanted, we had that vision of seeing like at least four stairs uh, flights of stairs to walk up. And I remember uh, there was a possibility we didn't, we weren't even going to shoot in that one that we ended up choosing because there was a lot of construction going on outside. We didn't want to deal with that noise. But um, in the end, we were able to work with the construction company and uh, use that. That that was the number one choice. That was always like, it was so funny that I see straight up um, and, and watch that uh, I chopped oh, it all down the stairs. <laughs> did you guys actually do it like that way? Do you know if they they just threw the chops like yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We I when we were scouting, I had I happened to have a chapstick 
Oh, you did a, a plastic a brand, but we were, we tried. We were like, is it going to work? Is it really going to work the way it's written in the script? So I threw my chapstick down the stairs. It was just like bouncing down. And they were like, oh, no, how are we going to re recreate that during the shoot? But um, they did it. Yeah. <laughs> It, it could have been something they added in post, but I'd like- Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah they definitely threw a chapstick down. So funny. Uh, well, what about the actual space uh, in, the, in the loft? Because there's this hilarious sequence when Gloria is high on Percocet and the camera mm -hmm. slowly like zooms in on her. And I know they had like the camera on a dolly. So like, what was it, the space like in that area to, to fit everything? Um, I remember we were, that was- a lot of discussion on how they were going to do that shot and um, we were even practicing on the stages with the dolly on how we and I got to fill in that one day and I sat there and pretended I was uh, Gloria so funny and and we were just doing the camera and the dolly and 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 uh, playing around like that so we uh, they they spent a lot of time on that shot and so when we got there at the space there was that area that we knew that we had that length to do that dolly shot so uh all pre-planned and uh you know it it was very specific to get that exact shot it was great it, it turned out great and then the graphics mm -hmm. <laughs> she's like the bunny <laughs> the animation so good uh well one you said they spend a lot of time in this season is the recording studio yeah and i, I like the colors yeah yeah. Um, so I got to design that, that standing set and so, so much fun. And, and to see that they used it throughout the whole uh, season. Awesome. Um, it, yeah, that was so much fun. I, I did all this research and found out that, you know, in order to control the sound, um, you, the, they would angle walls, they would, you know, uh, put carpeting on the soffits, they use a bunch of different materials like brick and stone and uh, foam and uh, uh, so much, so much like texture that I got to play with. Um, and then, and then they asked specifically for it to be a mid range studio. So in order for me to not make it look super fancy and designed, I made sure that um, I thought that this company would have like, you know, when they had money, renovate certain areas during certain times. So like maybe the seventies, they started, maybe let's say they moved in in the seventies and had that, 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 the, the wood uh, paneling and then, and, and the carpeting on the walls. And then in the eighties, they added the, uh, I was I thinking that the neon lights and then in the 90s they did the 90s graphics and then maybe in you know 2000 they added um they did the uh uh the, all the new doors with the with the glass so I, I it was very conscious effort to make it look mismatched in time periods and in uh materials so that it didn't look like a super high-end fancy designed uh, studio because you know these girls are still like on the up and up yeah it's what the property brothers record company can afford <laughs> exactly yeah yeah but I, I do like that because you definitely get the sense of that because every room is so different um and I love what you said about like the different textures because and they use that too in the show because when summer gets stuck on yes the yes that was so awesome I loved it <laughs> how many how many uh rooms did you construct for the entire studio because there are multiple ones that right have. right so we I I had to um you know we were limited on our stage space because I had to fit our existing standing sets into the existing stages like Don's apartment and uh uh the the restaurant so what was left was the space I had for the recording studio. And I tried to cheat the depth. So I had these little rooms in the background that were other isolation rooms, but they never shot in there, but it looked like it made the space look a lot bigger. And I made sure, you know, when you, you when you were in one end, you could see through a door, through a window, through a door, and that gave it a lot of depth and made it look like a lot bigger than it actually was. So I know it was really tight in there, um, but, but I think it had a lot of depth. Um, I think it was really successful that way. I'm really proud of it. Yeah, and I like um, in that one episode when they do a, a flashback of Summer listening to Don 
uh and her conversation um like through like in a different room so it's like they're they're kind of cheating it I guess because they're cutting it but it's like yeah here like through you know the hallway basically right right right. yeah the vocal room you think what's um well the this recording studio obviously has glass too so what was it like uh working with that and finding like where you need to put in the panels but also being conscious of the camera so the the glass uh you know I wanted to make it real so that it that's what they would have had in there and I and um you know in a lot of the research you would shut the sliding glass doors but you because you, you want to still see the other performers while you're recording and um but at least close off the room so there was this all this glass um i even double paned the windows which was really challenging for the dp to to light i know it was difficult for them um but you know there's a trick in in tv where you gimbal and and um those sliding glass doors actually didn't slide like this they they were you cheated them a little so that they the just the reflection of the, the lights and stuff would just you know disappear and you wouldn't see the shooting crew. Um, we did a lot of that. Um, a lot of the windows were gimbling like that. Um, and then, you know, with the doors that had glass in them, you know, they could move the doors um, so that if the reflections would uh you know uh, disappear. But I, you know, we're so tight on time and, and sometimes even that kind of movement um was too much for the for the shooting crew but they managed i mean we got everything it, it, it's like we 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 tightened that set there's a lot of mechanical things we had to work with while we shot and we figured it out by the end and then uh you know and then we're done and then it goes in the trash <laughs> hey they finished the album so <laughs> yeah yeah now they're gonna go on their tour i know so uh well the third episode is they're on a little stinkers music video set and just super extravagant lots of gold everywhere (sighs) what went into that (laughs) that was that was so much fun i can't even tell you how much fun i had with that um or maybe it shows that so uh that opulent dinner room uh meredith has specifically uh referenced the grate and that big long uh table and um so I mean, God, how how we had sconces and 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 in or, and I I had to you know in order to fill the table and you know not not like keep it flat all the uh, all the thing you, if you give it all height you know then it just gets bigger and and more in in view of the camera um, so a lot of the things we lifted up um, and uh, it made it look bigger. And you know we had to we had to uh, puff up all these diamonds. You know underneath would be a lot of like styrofoam or something or clear plastic, and then we would on the very top layer just have you know our our, uh, our diamonds and 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 opulent items. Um, so there's a lot of cheating about like making it really big, and uh, but everything was really glittery, and they they lit it really nicely. It was just it, they had smoke. It, it, there was a big, there was a good, great vibe in there that day, like dancing and and playing with, with all that stuff. Yeah, it's, it <laughs> yeah. looked a lot of fun. And then like the montage at the end of them, just filming their years worth of social media posts all around the set. <laughs> um, but you also shoot. Um, like on location in New York City, sometimes like outdoors. So what is it like scouting the right neighborhoods for those scenes? Um, well, let's see, which, which I'm trying to think of a, a exterior that we shot at um, that I could reference. Oh, so right outside our stages, we cheated, uh, you know, our, our, our stage is in Brooklyn and we were cheating it as, um, Midtown Manhattan, um, and a lot of that kind of works. I mean, um, so they were close by. Uh, I think uh, I can't remember anything specific that that. There's a lot of uh, sidewalk scenes. Yeah, sidewalks. Um, um, there is well the the hospital rooftop performance. Where was that? <laughs> was in. That was in Long Island City. If I wait, was that, am I remembering it correctly? Uh, I yeah, it was it was um, 
it was right, it was near our stages. And, uh, you know, that's, that was like a, an apartment complex. So we, we had to, uh, and we weren't allowed to paint like that H on the, on their pavers on the rooftop. So we ended up printing an H on a, on a linoleum that matched the color of the top of the roof. Um, so we had to lay that down. And it was, I remember it was a rainy day, cold day, and we were worried about it, like buckling or bubbling or being slippery, but it worked out great. It worked out totally fine. It was awesome. Yeah. And, if, and even if it did, it would have been perfect for the scene too, since it all goes awry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, how did you go about, I guess, um, like maybe elevating or approaching the existing sets from season one, you know, like you're saying like Don's apartment and the restaurant. You know what we had to do? Um, I don't know if you noticed, but in season one, we didn't have a backdrop outside of the restaurant. So um, it, it was a little, uh, I think they used a green screen and then they had to fill it in later um, in post. But uh, this time around, we got to make a backdrop, which was, um, which was fun. It, and I worked, I worked closely with the DP on that. Uh, and, and, you know, we got to fiddle around with the graphics and like the, the adding the, the, the clearance free, you know, stores. Um, uh, so th making that addition to that set was, I think it, it looks great. It looks so much better if you look outside and then, and then you had to make sure, you know, conscious of like, you don't want it really till the season. So you don't know when you're going to shoot. Um, and, and see out the window. So a lot of the trees, I, I kind of had to um, mute it. So it wasn't really too telling on like it, it, if it was a fall day or a, you know, summer day, um, you know, then we got to like erase like wires. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's fun to, to create a backdrop, you know, from, from, you know, we took a photo from outside. We even cheated it from the location that we shot as the original uh, restaurant. Uh, we cheated that that image outside, like down the next block. So that's not even the real location right outside the restaurant. Um, but it's close. We got to choose like this. There's a famous arch uh, near uh, that area that John the DP really liked. So we got to include that and give it more depth. Um, so if you really look out those windows, you'll see something interesting. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks real. That all adds to it, so. It does, I think. Great. For sure. Uh, well, lastly, what's your favorite Girls by Beva song? You know what's the one that's in my head all the time? Is that BPE oh, song. <laughs> It's, it's a so good one. It's very, and I love um, when uh, Scott, Don, and uh, Wiki are playing it around the piano. <laughs> <laughs> there was one version of the script I remember that they, they, he was they were singing something else. I think it was what he sang in the in the um, in the karaoke bar that song. But for them to end it to change it to the BPE song, so much better, um, so great. It's just. It, I love it. It's very catchy. So you, do you think that should have been the first single and not then not break? <laughs> oh, I don't know. They're both good. They're different songs, but very catchy, both of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the BPE is like powerful. <laughs> and Renee raps. She's rapping again in it. I know. <laughs> She's so great. They're all so great. I know. I, I, I want to see them on tour next season. So yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see where they go. Uh, well, my name was great speaking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great oh, thank day. Thank you, Joyce. It was nice meeting you.